Microsoft finally joined the AI game. They released a new open source text-to-speech state-of-the-art model, Vibe Voice. Hello everyone. And welcome to the Vibe Voice Podcast. I'm your host. Here's what you need to know. There's actually two models. One larger 1.5 billion parameters generating up to 90 minute speeches from 64,000 token context windows. And another one generating up to 45 minutes with 32,000 token context windows. It's based on the Quen 2.5 large language model for processing language and then uses a diffusion head for generating the audio speech from the embeddings. It's super lightweight, super efficient. It's really a nice step forward for open source text-to-speech and the quality is amazing. Just listen to that. Big news in TTS lately? Yes! Microsoft Research just open-sourced Vibe Voice. The model can generate speech up to 90 minutes long. You can send it a long speech or podcast and ask for up to four speakers. So it can generate four different voices speaking and exchanging together. It's really cool to have at least two and create some kind of Q&A podcast format with it. As we can see on the benchmarks, it seems really good, but we'll have to confirm with real example. Feeding my own scripts, it seems to work quite well. So I might use it to replace me someday. It's also a text to speech model, not a speech to speech model like the recent GPT real time. So it's not replacing these models, but it's a very nice alternative for generating audio out of text. And it's fully open source. You can use it commercially and everything. So it's really cool. Also, they aim to release a real time model, it seems. So I'm quite excited to see that and cover it next. Follow me to not miss it. Just be careful. It mainly works with English or Chinese, obviously because of the Quen model and the results aren't guaranteed in other languages. I think it will work quite well processing any language, but generating languages might be best to stick with English. That's totally fine for most people, but just as a warning in case you use it for other languages. Still a very nice alternative for efficient speech synthesis. I'm Louis-Francois, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI, and follow me for tomorrow's No BS Roundup.